Oh, hello. Tonight we're going to be making a Greek masuka uh, casserole. First step is I've gotten two large eggplants and I've sliced them into about quarter inch slices, um, removing the lengthwise, removing the outer skin, the big skin sections. And we're just going to salt them here. I'll bring out some of the bitterness. You're going to let them let them sit with the salt for about 30 minutes or so. I'll pull out that bitterness that sometimes comes with eggplant. Just a general salting across it. Don't worry, it has to be about how exact. And while we're doing that, we're going to get started on all the other parts of the casserole. We'll be back soon. Okay, so we're back, and I have added to a pan uh, that I heated up a couple tablespoons of olive oil with one large yellow onion that I've diced up. And I'm just going to cook that down so everything gets nice and soft and starting to brown up beautifully. Okay, so this is about where you want the onions are. They're just a little under. So we are going to add our pound of beef here. You can also use a pound of lamb. And we're just going to cook this together. Okay, so we've gotten our meat browned down. It doesn't have to be perfectly cooked through. You just want to get browned and broken up like this. And to it, we are going to add our spice mix. We have a tablespoon of oregano, teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. And we're just going to add that in and let everything get coated up. Make sure we get everybody in there. All right. Ooh, I can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg right away when we start that. So we're just going to cook, move everybody around, and get them all coated on the meat. All right. Just let that cook for about 30 seconds or so. We're going to add our wine. We're having a half cup of a red wine. I let this cook for about a minute. Spring to a boil and cook. And now we are going to add in the rest. Our teaspoon of sugar, might be a little more there. Canned tomatoes, including the juice. And a half cup of beef stock. And then we're just going to put it on a very low heat and just let this simmer all together and become a nice thick sauce for about 20 or 25 minutes, depending on how it cooks. And we're gonna get started on the next one, with our next sauce, which is a bechamel sauce. Be right back. Our next step, actually, is we're gonna get our eggplant ready for the casserole. And we've salted it and cut it, and we're just gonna get that extra moisture off. And then we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and coat the bottom here of our cook bake sheet. Just lift everyone up, give a little douse, move on. Not me much. While that's going and you're doing this, you need to start your oven broiler up and you're going to want to set your rack to be about six inches, give or take, underneath there. We're going to pop these in and keep a close eye about just a couple minutes per side and they'll get nice and golden brown. You'll pull them out and flip them and just repeat the process. When it's all done, you'll be able to set it to the side and I'll show you the finished product here in just a minute. So I'm back and I have just gotten the first batch. We ended up with two sheets worth of eggplant gotten out and you want it just getting soft and getting a little bit of a golden brown color to it and these are just about perfect. So we're going to put them to the side and start on our bechamel sauce. Okay, so we're going to get started with our bechamel sauce. I've got about a third of a cup plus two tablespoons worth of olive oil here and we've cooked it at a medium heat so it's nice and shiny we don't really see any steam coming off which is where we want it we're going to add two thirds of a cup of flour half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and we're going to cook this together until it comes to a nice golden brown there all right and we're just going to cook that till it gets golden brown and ready to go and we'll just keep doing this slow and slow is the best route to make this will take about, ooh, anywhere from five to seven minutes to fully cook through and get that nice golden brown. Uh, I've, to that roux I made, I've added four cups of milk slowly, and I used a warm milk uh, there, and it's come together with a nice fish amount. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm adding in a quarter of, quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and we're going to stir that in. I'm going to let it... Cook, stirring it every once in a while here. 
over a medium heat. You can see it bubbling there. It's just getting that extra moisture out. There, and we'll come right back once that's ready and show you the next step. All right, so I have two eggs here that I've whisked up, and I'm going to take a small, about half cup amount of the bechamel sauce, as is, and I'm going to slowly add it into the eggs. I'm just tempering the eggs with the hot sauce, so we don't get just a bunch of scrambled egg in there. I like to use a fork to do this, because then I can scrape and add in the sauce a lot easier. There. And it doesn't cook it as much. If you don't think it's got enough, you can always add just a little bit more. That hot bechamel there. The main bechamel will stir here. Okay. There we go. More. want to add it too hot or too quick because otherwise you end up with scrambled eggs. My bechamel doesn't want to break out there. All right. All right. Now we're going to add everything back in to the main bechamel and cook it for about two more minutes. Take it off the heat here and we'll be able to start assembly. And we're just going to add in our egg here. Nice creamy sauce. We'll bring everybody in there. Start together, and you're just gonna cook it on a low boil for about another ooh, two minutes, and then we'll have everything ready for assembly there. That's what it should look like before that last two-minute boil. Almost like a thick cheese sauce there, like you would put over uh, mac and cheese. So. All right, we're gonna set up for assembly, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna start assembly. The first thing you wanna do is take a layer of your eggplant and place it on the bottom. You wanna cover as much as you can. If your pieces have some gaps or there's areas that aren't really covered, you can always cut and realign the pieces, tear them if you need to. That always works there. Want to get as much coverage as we can down here. There, it looks like that bad boy will go over there. We'll take one more. And we're going to spread it on top. It just wants to come out. Look how good that looks all together. It's all our meat, our onions, our tomato, all our spices, that red wine, and that stock all cooked together. Just allowed to marinate. On top here, place more eggplants. And create a layer almost like a lasagna here and oh that looks so good all right then we are going to just pour that lovely bechamel sauce on I'm gonna grab a all right and then the last step before we put this in the oven is we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumb over the top you if you have seasoned you can do that or you can just use whatever type of breadcrumb you like. I'm just using a standard old plain breadcrumb that we had and need to use up. And then, so we're gonna pop this in the oven for 45 minutes, pull it out and show you what it looks like. All right, so the moussaka is out of the oven. I've let it rest for about 10 minutes. You can see it's nice golden brown on the top. Um, if you want a darker golden brown, you can always just put it under the broiler for a minute or a couple minutes or two. And we're just going to cut in here. We did lightly grease our pan so everything can come out easy there. Ooh, did not want to come out there. There we go. And there is a nice plate. Enjoy!